Welcome guys to another creative week. For those of you who are wondering, the drink I'm usually drinking in my journaling videos is Cabernet wine. Um, I usually journal at night and I have one glass and I just, I love Cabernet. <laughs> so, I started off my journaling week with some of the test prints from the collage sheet that I made for you guys. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my recent flip through that I posted on my YouTube channel here, obviously. I will put a little card up there so you can catch that. I made a printable to celebrate my one year of YouTube and thank all of you. So go check it out if you haven't already. So, like I said, I'm just using some of the test prints from that. Uh, one of them, I had test printed it and then I printed out a drawing by Romany from Romany's Realm on the back of it. Um, and made a tip in with it. And here I'm using the background paper and I just to put a little collage bit on there. I really want to use that um, little partial circle punch there and I will use it on a different page. I decided to add this cardboard zigzag that I found in that little ephemera drawer one of the ones that I don't open as much as the other ones so I always find little treasures that I didn't know I had and then I pull out a jelly roll and just make some dots add a little something something I have some quotes still from Jordan Clark's printable and I decided to put one of them here on this page but I felt like it finally needed a little bit of color just a little bit behind there so I pulled out my watercolors and it did a blue green wash because that's my color <laughs> I did dip the edges of that quote in the excess watercolor before it dried, um, and I really like how it looked. Then I took a star brad and put it through the page. I really like those stars. I've been using them since I got them months ago. Um, they just make really nice additions to my journal. I added some more of those star stickers that I had used on the left page to kind of tie it all in together. And here I do use this circle as a tab for that tip in. And on the back I just used some paint over pen to outline um, the tab. Now, I got the new High Fructose magazine, and you guys know that I love these magazines. The art in it is so funky, and I love using it in my journals. Um, so right now, I am cutting out a piece to put on there. But one of the things I've started doing with my magazines that I hadn't done before is going through and then putting sticky notes on all of the images that I know I want to use in my journal. And I feel like that really helps um, when I'm in the middle of journaling and want something to use. I already know that those are the pages I like the images of. Um, if I'm feeling like I need some inspiration or I'm looking for something and I'm not sure what, um, I will flip through the whole magazine obviously and pull other things out, but it just makes it a lot easier to tab those favorite pieces.
So I had cut out this little fish and I thought it worked perfectly on my swatch page of my fountain pen inks that I got, oh gosh, what was it, last week? It feels like forever ago. I love them so much. Um, but yeah, and I also cut out this little skeleton guy that had the last gasp on there. Um, and I just like him. He's fun. So I took a pen and made a scribbly circle around him and a little bit of a border. I'm really liking this faux stitching that I picked up um, from Kyra Pace, her channel. Um, she always does these yearly borders with the little like faux stitching and I think it's so cute. I added some stars with my Sharpie paint pen. And then here I'm just taking some residue out of <laughs> the ink vial that I used to fill my pen with. Um, waste not, want not. I love the ink and I, why not, right? So I just slapped some more of that down in the background before I put the fishy on top. I also did that border with the faux stitching on top of that turquoise marker now that it had dried. Where did it, what am I doing? Where did I go? Oh, um, I pulled out some of this mermaid glimmer paint by Tattered Angels and I did some splatters. Just needed a little more of oomph to the page and I thought it kind of looked like bubbles which went with the fish obviously so yep. Then I found these cool um, packing list uh, things. <laughs> Usually put them on top of boxes or you used to anyway. Um, and someone gave them to me a while ago and I just found them again recently. So I wanted to use that. And I put a piece of map on the reverse side of it. And I can't believe it guys, but it's basically August already. So this is me working on the um, first page in my bullet journal. The eye sticker is from Diane Reevely. Um, and I just wanted to include a little bit of this for you guys. I will have another bullet journal video at the end of the month. Don't worry. Some of you have been like, are you doing another one? Yes, um, I will. And it will be shortly. But yeah, so I just went with that eye and I colored the eye in with some of my colored pencils. I stamped 08 for the month um, and I did a cool little birthday chart there with my Studio L2E stamps, which I am absolutely loving. I really like the Studio L2E stamps, especially for my bullet journal. I use the Workbox one literally every day. And I'm just trying to use up some stickers that I got in a grab bag, like, who knows how many years ago. And now we're back to journaling. <laughs> so I had journaled on some ledger paper, which you can see to the right. And I wanted to make a little page and pocket to put it in. So I just pulled out a library pocket and distressed it a little. And then I pulled out my Distress Oxides, and I'm using, oh gosh, the linen one, Peacock Feathers, and Wilted Violet, maybe, I think. So yeah, I'm just stamping the ink onto that acetate piece, spraying it with some water and smushing it on there. I really like that technique. Um, and it's super easy to do and it's an amazing effect. So, yep, 
playing around with those and then I pulled out a one of my favorite stencils and some Lindy's Stamp Gang I believe it's Raven Black ink spray it's like the shimmer one um, and just did a little bit of stenciling Then I took some Tim Holtz Ephemera and added it. I really like um, the kind of, I don't know. I'm feeling very Tim Holtzy lately. <laughs> Tim Holtzy and vintage papery. So I went with that. I was just trying to figure out what cards I wanted to use. Um, so, yep. And then I pulled, I thought I had a little tiny gold paper clip, but I guess I used them all. So I used a big gold paper clip and just clipped the um, ticket and from my piece there and my journaling pages together to stick into the pocket. And I'm washi taping my pocket on. Not any rocket science here. And I'm just layering stuff on there that's more Tim Holtz ephemera. I thought I wanted to add more, um, but I just leave it with those two pieces and I think it looks fine. And then I just stapled that vintage uh, receipt tag on there. It's um, from my state, but it's like the 40s. So I thought that was really cool. And it matched the colors on that page. So I stuck it on there. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another creative week. Don't forget to check out your free printable um, in my flip through video. I will leave that linked for you guys. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.